hey guys welcome back again for a new video and in this video i'll be telling you how to implement a search filter inside your recycler view if you don't know what a recycler view is then you can watch my video that is linked above so without wasting any time let's jump into our application and see what we have made till now so here we have our application and it is a very basic recycler view with a list of marvel movies so now let's jump into our android studio and see what we have there so here we have a simple main activity which implements our recycler view and then we have the recycler adapter class which implements our recycler view so now firstly what we'll be going to do is that we'll be adding that search icon to the very top of our app bar like somewhere here so let's go inside our application again and here in the resource folder let me create a menu directory that is a new resource directory so android resource directory and the resource type would be menu and let's click on OK. And now here inside this menu directory, I'll create a new XML file that will create our main menu. And let's name it main menu. And now let's click on OK. So don't worry about this thing. This is a Git thing. You won't be seeing that. Now here inside the XML file, let me add in a search item. So item. And let's give it an ID first. So ID would be action search. Let me close the ending tags first. And now let's give it a title. So title would be search. Now we want to provide an icon for this. And since we do not have a file for our icon, that is a search icon. So let's go to this drawable folder and let's create a new vector asset. And here what you can do if you don't get this search icon here, you can click click on this clip art thing here and here you can simply type in search and then you can find the search icon from there let's click on ok there and then we want to specify the color so i just click on this color here and then let me select on white and click choose and then next and then finish and then again it's a good thing don't worry about that now back inside my main menu.xml let me provide in that drawable so add drawable i see search black though it is white in color i should have renamed that file to white and now let's provide in one more attribute that is shows as action and here i will provide two attributes that is always and then we also need to provide this attribute that is collapse action view it is necessary for your action bar to collapse when the search view is toggled and now finally we need to provide in a class name for this that is the action view class name so action view class and this class at the very top here on the pop-up menu as we can see that is the android x dot app compat dot widget dot search view you should be using this class and no other class so let's select that and that's all for the main menu dot xml file so now let me apply this main menu to our main activity dot java so let me close this main menu dot xml and here inside the main activity dot java let's go at the bottom below the on create method and here what i'll do i'll override this method that is the on create options menu and here what i'll do i'll get the menu inflator dot inflate and here i need to provide in the resource file for the menu so r dot menu dot main menu and then we need to pass in the menu and we can simply pass in the menu because it is there inside this on create options and now what i want to do i want to get my menu item so menu item item equal to menu dot find item and our item is r dot id dot action search like this and now what we need to do we need to find our search view so let's use the search view and again note one thing that you should use this android x dot app compat dot widget one and not this android dot widget one so we'll use this one here and then search view equal to item dot get action view like this and let me cast it to search view again by pressing alt and enter and now we'll add a query text listener on the search view so search view dot set on query text listener like this and then we can pass a new listener here so now let's run our application and see if the search item is working 
And now if we click on the search box here, we see that we have a place to search inside this recycler items. So now let's click on back here and we are back inside our recycler view. So the search thing is working, that is the search menu is working fine. So now let's implement the search functionality inside our recycler view. So firstly what I am going to do, I am going to go to this recycler adapter class. So let's make your recycler adapter implements filterable. So implements filterable. This one here, that is the android.widget one. And then you need to override some default methods. So this is the default method, that is the get filter and click on OK. So before doing anything inside this get filter method, let me define one more variable here that is the movies list all which will contain a list of all the movies without being filtered. So list of strings and I'll call it movies list all. And at the very same place where your constructor is, you will initialize that movies list all. So this dot movies list all equal to new array list. And here you can simply pass in the movies list that that you get from the constructor itself. So this movie list will contain all the items that will be in the movie list. And since we are going to change this movie list by filtering, so it won't keep a track of all the movies, but this movies list all will keep a track of all the movies that are present inside your recycler view. So now let's go to this get filter method here. And here you need to return something that is of type filter. So let's return here filter like this. We don't have that filter here. So let's create that filter here. So filter. And again, you should use this one here. That is the android.widget one. So filter, filter equal to new filter. And let me put a semicolon here. Now let me zoom in a little bit more. So all the logic of filtering goes inside this method here. That is the perform filtering method and the publish results method. And let me tell you beforehand itself that this perform filtering method, it is run on a background thread. And this background thread is created automatically. You don't have to do anything for that. And this publish result method is run on a UI thread. That is it runs on a UI thread. So now this perform filtering method returns a variable of type filter results. So let's go inside that method here and let this be return null for now. So here let me create a list of strings that is a list of movies. So filtered list and I initialize it right away like this. So now what we want to do, we want to check if the char sequence is empty. So for that if char sequence dot to string dot is empty. If it is empty, then what you want to do, you want to simply add the movies that is the all movies inside your filtered list because if it is empty, then all the movies should be shown. So filtered list dot add all. And here you can pass in movies list all like this. Else. So now inside the sales block, we can loop through our list of movies. So for a string movie in movies list all because movies list all contain all the movies and then what we want to do we want to check if the movie contains that char sequence so for that we can use this thing here if movie dot to lowercase because firstly we are converting the movie to the lowercase and then if it contains the char sequence so here you can pass in char sequence dot to string dot to lowercase again because the filtering should not depend on case like this so now if it contains that, then we'll add that movie to our filtered list. So filtered list dot add and here we can pass in that movie like this. And now what we want to do, we want to create a variable of type filter results. So filter results, filter results equal to new filter results and then filtered results dot values equal to filtered list that is the list we have created initially at the very start of this perform filtering method and now what you want to do you want to return this thing here that is the filter results here like this and now this return value of this perform filtering method 
will return this filter results to this publish results method here as you can see here that it takes in a parameter of filter results so here what we want to do we want to update the ui here so that is again very simple to do so we'll call our movies list and we'll clear it and then what we want to do we will want to add that filtered results list to our movies list so movies list dot add all and then filter results dot values and then we need to cast it as a type of collection so alt and enter then we have casted it as a collection and then we simply want to notify that the data set has been changed so notify data set changed now everything inside this recycler adapter thing is complete so now let's go to main activity to call this get filter method so here inside this inside your menu that is on query text change what you need to do you want to call your recycler adapter dot get filter and then you need to use this method that is the filter method here and here you need to pass in your string that is the search string so that search string is new text and that we can get from here and now let's run this application and if everything is fine your search you might be working here so let's click here so let's click on iron man we see that we have a list of iron man movies now let's cross this and now let's search for captain america so we see that we get our search results back inside our recycler view and we can directly click on this back item here to go back to our recycler view so guys this is all about search view and filtering inside your recycler view so if you have liked the video do hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to our channel do subscribe to my channel and if you want you can support me on patreon.com i'll provide a link in the description below so thank you bye bye tata take care and have a good day